a ball of mass 10 gram falls from a height of 5 meter it rebounds from the ground to a height of 4 meter find the initial potential energy of a ball kinetic energy of a ball just before striking the ground next we have kinetic energy of a ball after striking the ground and loss in the kinetic energy on striking the ground take g value as 9.8 so here just carefully see the picture so here ball is initially at some height so this height is basically a 5 meter okay so when the just ball coming out on the ground and just rebounds it rebounds to a height of 4 meter okay so basically we have to calculate the initial potential energy initial potential energy we have mg initial height so mass we have mass here we have 10 g converted into kilogram 10 by 1000 g value we have 9.8 and initial height we have 5 meter okay just multiply this we got 0.49 joule as a answer when you will multiply just cancel it out these things we will got the energy as initial potential energy as 0.49 joule clear now we have to calculate the kinetic energy of ball just before striking the ground so when the ball which is at a height of 5 meter from the ground when it is moving we have to calculate the kinetic energy here means here what is the kinetic energy so according to the conservation of energy energy at this point and energy at this point is same before touching the ground what is the kinetic energy so potential energy is completely converted into kinetic energy according to the conservation of energy so potential energy we have already calculated at this point we have 0.49 joule so kinetic energy before touching the ground before striking the ground kinetic energy is same that is 0.49 joule next we have the kinetic energy of ball after striking the ground now carefully see the question when the ball which is initially at 5 meter is touching the ground so before touching the ground whole kinetic energy is converted but when it is rebound it is not rebound to initial height if it is not rebounds to initial height then there is some loss in energy so first we have to calculate what is the kinetic energy of ball after striking the ground after striking the ground kinetic energy is equals to the potential energy up to or height up to which the ball is raised so according to again conservation of energy kinetic energy after striking is equals to potential energy after the height gained means final value i'm talking about kinetic energy we have potential energy final which is mgh final mass we have mass in this case again 10 by 1000 g value we have 9.8 and final height final height is not not 5 meter it is only 4 meter so when you will multiply it with 4 you got answer 0.392 joule clear so this is the potential energy or this is the energy at which ball is raised and this actually a kinetic energy when it is strike and bounce back so this ball is initially having kinetic energy so this kinetic energy is actually converted into a potential energy so here i can write that the whatever the potential energy we are getting that is just a kinetic energy at this point now we have to calculate the loss in kinetic energy loss kinetic energy we have that is initial kinetic energy how much we have and final kinetic energy value so initial kinetic energy we have calculated as 0.49 and final kinetic energy we have 0.392 so loss in kinetic energy we got it as 0.098 joule which is a small value but this energy is because when the ball is strike on the ground some type of heat is released in the environment when it is touching or rubbing with the ground and some type of sound is produced so that energy is actually lost so that's why the raised height is less than the actual height